Hey guys, it's me, H, from JMH in the Comic Wasteland. We're going to be trying something new. We're going to be talking about throwbacks, pretty much books that have been finished already that are, you know, a couple of years old. Um, you know, stuff that we read and, and, and really got us into comic books and, and things that we absolutely love. And, and this time I chose Why the Last Man. Um, it's, a, it's a book written by Brian K. Vaughn. It was uh, penciled in by Pia Guerra. Uh, essentially, it's a book where all male mammals die except for one man and one monkey. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm going to tell you why that happens. But all you need to do is pretty much that society, all the world kind of collapses. And, and it's very interesting because you get to see uh, the women's perspective on how uh, they take over everything. They're the ones who need to, you know, do all, all the jobs that men used to do. Like, they need to start doing that, you know, like, pick up the garbage, uh, you know, the, the economy, politics, uh, the military. Um, and what got me into it was ironically I was reading some, some DC issue, uh, it, it was published by Vertigo which is like under the umbrella of DC Comics um, where they show like more, the more adult stuff, um, you know, there's sex and, and, and you know, you sh they, they show, there's very more, way more risque, they show a lot more. Um, <clears throat> and what got me into it was as, as I was reading one of my issues, you get to see one of the ads, one of the ads was just like these very beautiful women, like, you know, uh, just covered with a mask and she had her hair up and, and she was wearing a tank top and she was she was picking up garbage and I'm like that is very interesting for, for a woman that looks like a model to be just doing like what a garbage man typically does and I'm like why the last man literally there's a why for the Y chromosome left the last man so I go to my local comic book shop and I pick up one of these books and I ask like the guys like is this any good like, well man if you haven't like you don't know anything about this you're gonna <laughs> Nothing's ever going to be the same after you read this. And I'm like, all right, that's all I needed to hear. Picked it up, started reading it. Couldn't put it down until I was done. Read everything. Read, read every single... Every, well, I started buying the volume, so I read every single volume up to that point, and then I had to wait for the ninth for the 10th one. Um, they did it in 10, 60 issues from 2002 through 2008. Uh, made it into 10 volumes, and now you can find it for like five big deluxe, uh, deluxe books. And I'm like, this is insane. This is the, probably the, well, it's my favorite comic book for sure. It, it's it's absolutely a work of art. It, it's just Brian K. Vaughn is known for for doing like these very character driven stories, and they evolve as time goes on. And it's just so intense to see how these people get together. How how you would think uh, if the population is doomed, why would uh, a group of women decide that they're gonna kill the last man, or 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 how. Uh, the main character, Yorick's mother, uh, takes on the presidency and she assigns a, a secret agent to, to protect him to go find his girlfriend in the other, in the outback, you know, somewhere in the other side of the world. Um, well, we have like this, this very brilliant scientist trying to figure out like the secret to, you know, stopping this or, or, or starting anew. And, and it's just so intense, the emotional journey of like these characters are just trying to figure out what, like, what the hell happened and, and why it happened. And, and I, got, I got to uh, see Brian K. Vaughn live in a, in, a, in a panel in New York Comic Con two years ago. And I got to, you know, I asked him, like, listen, there's comic books and then there's this shit. And this is the most amazing shit I've ever read. He, and he was talking about how when he was coming up with the idea, he wanted to, um, you know, he showed, he showed his wife and asked, and asked his wife, like, what, what she thought. And she said, well, you're, you're missing the entire, like, logistic standpoint of what it is for, for women to start picking up these roles. From, from here, from you know, from the United States all the way to, you know, to the other side of the world. You know, you gotta take into account how um, Israel has a very, very big, like, female army, uh, and then they have to do it now. And how, like, pretty much the whole world rests on the, on the, on the shoulders of one man. Um, and it's not what you think. It's not, it's not like some orgy, you know, some massive, like, uh, fuck that, that's not what it is. So, it's very, it's, 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 honestly, it's a revelation. It's very refreshing to read a book like this. And obviously any, any subsequent stuff that Brian Kavon has written, you know, people just love because he, he just knows how to like get into the whole uh, emotional aspect of, of, of characters and, and, and the human psyche. And, um, and it's not easy. It's not easy to write something like this. And, and I, you know, his mind is absolutely brilliant. And he, he referred to himself as a, as a, what was it, a guy who writes a <laughs> pervy alien fanfic or something, which is hilarious because Saga is pretty, it's almost like that, but it's actually very emotional and very special. Um, 
Um, so, but you know, the fact that he writes saga, you know, from from what I've read from *My Last Man*, is no surprise how special saga is as well. Um, but yeah, essentially, you know, I cannot stress or recommend this enough. You know, just give it a chance, take it, a, you know, give it a read. Go to your lo a local comic book shop, pick it up. Ask, ask, you know, the local staff. You can ask us. We would love to discuss it with you. Um, you know, the other half of J and H in the comic books, you know, the J brothers. I'm sure they're gonna talk to you about their favorite books, and we want to do the, you know, we want to do this continuously because we want to obviously uh, keep you in the loop about, you know, about all this stuff. And there's a lot, a lot of books that deserve to be recognized and read, including from, you know, from our favorite Superman stories to, you know, Marvel stories and and, and Spider Man. And, um, so, so obviously we're gonna pick up like the best of the best, our favorites of all time. We're gonna talk to you about them, and and you, you know, obviously. This time you might see like one on ones, but we're gonna you know get together and then share our opinions on the one book and um, different from like the you know our weekly issue stuff. This is more you know throwbacks, uh, but you know stick with us. We love getting feedback from you and, and anything you want to tell us, anything you want to ask us, we're here for you. Uh, but uh, until now, I'll see you next time.